Jellyfish stung more than 400 people off New Smyrna Beach on Florida's east coast over the weekend. And it's believed the tropical storm Cristobal may have helped push them ashore. And all new at 6, our Jason Beisel reports on why Florida is seeing an increase in these sea creatures. Passa Girl Beach, one of Megan Dunn's favorites. But last week, Megan noticed something unusual. We're walking down and all of a sudden came about a bunch of jellyfish on the beach. Looked like they'd been washed up. It's the first time she's seen so many. I was a little confused on why all of a sudden so many were here. You rarely see just one jelly. So where there are jellies, there are lots of jellies, thousands of jellies. Experts say beachgoers most likely saw moon jellyfish. They thrive in low oxygen environments like you see in the Gulf during the summer. Tropical storms like Cristobal also play a big role, no matter how far from our shore. All of that has kind of that butterfly effect and affects the winds, the tides, the currents, you know, the Gulf Stream. All this brings offshore animals sometimes up to our shores. What Megan saw while walking along the beach, experts say is a good indication of what may be lurking in the water. So if you come across a lot of dead jellyfish washed ashore, you can be sure there are many more floating in the water. So bring friends. More eyes on the water looking around and in clear water will help you see what else is out there with you. Many jellyfish here pack less of a punch compared to ones on the East Coast. And so far, no increase in reports of stings. It's, it's like a little itch. It might kind of bother you. And they're not stopping Megan from soaking up the rays. It's part of being at the beach in Florida. It's going to happen every once in a while. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.